How to reset Shopify theme code. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you how to do that. So this is not a 100% thing that you can actually do. So necessarily, first of all, you will need to be careful when you actually start to, uh, you know, adjust the code in uh, your theme and start, you know, making some backups, which I will talk about later. But let's just go ahead and discuss how to reset some of the things that you can actually reset yourself without using any third party applications. I do believe there are paid applications out there that are going to help you reset um, your code, but you will need to look further into that. I'm not really going to get to it. Uh, but if you just want to do it natively within Shopify, we can just go ahead and click on the edit code section from within our Shopify store. And if we just go ahead and open that, and really, if we just go to any uh, folder here and change, uh, not any, by the way, I'm just going to also say this, um, .css ones are not going to work. But let's say I just delete a bit of code, for example, this one. Uh, I just go ahead and delete that and just go ahead and click on save now. Shopify uh, does have a future which is actually going to help us with this. So let's say I made a mistake. I left... Uh, and I just found out that there's something weird going on in my store once I actually previewed. Uh, so how, what do I actually do? I can just go ahead and go back to edit code and try to find the same folder that you actually changed. In this case, it was theme.liquid. Sorry about that. Uh, and what we need to do is basically just go to the recent changes tab, which Shopify keeps track of, uh, thankfully. And what we need to do is just go ahead and click on the down arrow here. And it's just going to show us all the list of the changes we have done. And once you actually click on the uh, changes, uh, you will be able to revert back to it. So, for example, here we have this one, which is which just happened just now. So, we just go ahead and click on this one. Uh, we can actually see that the code I have deleted is actually back now. So, we can actually just go ahead and save. And we are pretty much good to go. And this is also going to count as a new save. So if you want to revert to the previous one, you just want to click on this one. And it's just going to work with the uh, dot liquid and stuff. And here as well, if we just go ahead and change this, it's going to be the same. As long as it says no recent changes here, it's going to work. But if we just go to dot CSS files, so here, uh, for example, base dot CSS, uh, I don't believe this is actually going to work. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here so starting from line nine i'm just going to copy it and if we just delete this and click on save i believe it's not actually going to work here if we just go ahead and restart it's not going to keep track of the changes for dot css files which is unfortunate so if you did actually change stuff from your css files and you want to reset I don't think you can actually do so unless you maybe find an app that helps you with this. I'm just going to paste this again just so we can actually be clear here. Uh, so make sure that you actually copy your files before you start messing with them. And what I highly suggest that you do, if you want to uh, like you know mess with code and stuff, is always once you're happy with your theme, uh, you can always just go ahead and click on the three dots next to it and duplicate it. This way, we always have a fresh copy with the latest uh, sort of adjustments that we have and everything is per perfectly fine before we dive into some code. This way, we don't really lose any progress. So this is all I have for you in this video. Hopefully, you find this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.